studio um, not far from here. Okay. And I'll probably be working out of here soon too as well. So, you know, my my, my wife works in D.C., so I'm in D.C. every day. That's what's good. Every day. And, and I mean, like, was this a place that you thought you was going to be in? Like, you thought you was going to be back home? You're originally from um, New York, right? Yeah, I'm from, from the Bronx. Okay. Um, Originally, I guess, I never, like, when I first started uh, my bid, um... I couldn't even see the end, so I can't really honestly say where yeah. I thought I'd be right. upon release. But um, once I got married, she was down here. You know, we were going back and forth whether we wanted to be in the city or here or Atlanta or Miami or wherever. You know, because everywhere Atlanta's popping now, Miami's right. popping, New York is popping. So I didn't really know where, but since she was here, she's working and everything, I figured we'd be here. Here's cool until you, you know, know you, get situated. You know? you know this is like the hottest spot to be in. I'm in, saying in, I'm in, here in the whole United States. I, I'm feeling Chocolate City. Like Not, I'm loving it. I'm mad. I, you know he's old school. <laughs> you know he's old school. I'm mad. You I live in Maryland because I'll be here. I'll be here in DC so much. I, 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 I like I like DC. You know, it's a city. Like where I live is kind of country, but. But I like we, DC. I mean, I'm not trying to give you a residence, but what part of Maryland? Uh, uh, St. Charles. Oh, you know, wow. Yeah, where's that? Damn. See, I don't even that's know where that is. You, you, that's that's out. If you don't know where you're I know where that's at. You better yeah, get on yeah, Branch Avenue <laughs> and take it, take it out. Yeah, shit like oh, that. You can't even get way. on a metro <laughs> right now. Yeah, right, yeah, you yeah. got to take a ferry, a boat, everything. I'll be coming from, here. when I go out, I'll be coming back like that. I'll be on the highway just trying to stay wow. away. Wow. That's what's wow. good, man. So, Chi Ali, man. What's good, the, I want to say the classic and, and legendary, you know what I'm saying? Because you was doing it before, like, Little Bow Wow was doing it, type. Yeah, I mean... I'm from, I guess, the, the, the first the first generation of, of the young rappers. I believe it was like myself and Criss Cross, the youngsters. Criss Cross. Wow. We, we were like, we were the young the youngest. Because right. I remember I was on tour with Criss Cross. This was early, probably wow. 92, 93. <laughs> jump, uh, started jump. early. But, um, yeah, I want to say rest in peace to Chris Lighty, the baby Chris, because he basically started it all off for me. You know, I was wow. signed to Violate. I was the first artist signed to right. Violate, then, then Fat Joe. So we, you know, we we go back a long ways, man. We definitely want to get on Chris because that's like definitely a mentor for me. He didn't know it though, but you know, as far as hip hop and and everything, but I definitely want to like kind of like what was it like to work with like the native tongue, man? Because I mean, it, it was a great experience, but for me, I was so young that I was actually in awe. Like when I first started, I just wanted to do a video. And I used to like live was in, in a buddy video. Yeah, I used to live in that. Like the Jungle Brothers was my dudes. You couldn't tell me nothing negative about the Jungle Brothers and Tribe and De La. It was like it was just a a, a a surreal experience for me, just growing up, being around everyone. And right. back then it was different. It wasn't as much flash and pizzazz, and it wasn't as much money in the game. It was more hip hop. Oh, yeah. It was more a genuine love just for the music, just for everything. Yeah, yeah, Zulu Nation and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so it it was a, a different vibe. It was a more friendly vibe. Everybody more or less uh, interacted with, with one another, and it was more helping out then than it is now. But you know, the game progresses and it, it changes, so you got to just adapt to it. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, and speaking of ad- adapting, like you know, you just got out. What what are you trying to do, like as far as hip hop is concerned now? Because you went from like your greatest album at 14 right and then you had like a serious hiatus in between that right like where you at right now right now i'm recording i'm doing a lot of recording i'm also um trying to get into the to the acting game just because i think it's a bit bit more longevity there and you know i work out and all of that so you know my little you modeling too i'm not but i I mean i I guess i would i I mean you know my little physique is nice so i'm i'm with whatever you know i'm open to a lot of things i I also i I wrote a book while i was locked up um it's an autobiography i'm actually getting it edited now i want to say what's up to tamika that's why she's my editor she works at the washington post okay um so She's like working on the second edit now, so I'm hoping by like the top of the year I'll be ready to you know throw it to some publishers and and I'm just debating whether I want to go you know go mainstream or go um go independent with it. Like a lot of people who's independent with their books is telling me, yo, you got a name, you know, you could go independent, you'll make a lot of money. Right. But then a lot of people close to me it was like, let's just go with a major publisher. We might not make as much, but it'll do more for your brand and you know it'll help Definitely. you know catapult you to. Isn't that a more money in your be. pocket though? Oh, uh, if I go, I mean. If I go independent, it'll be more money probably off the book right now. But I think if I go with a major, long term wise, it'll it'll probably generate more money where it might not be as much money right now. But I'm new to the book game, so 
I mean, I'm I'm open to advice. Right now, I'm just trying to work on that edit and get it done. Yo, you look so much like my son D the Weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, you know, know D the Weatherman. Your son Weatherman. looks like me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you know D the Weatherman. He works for I don't know if he works for Jive. He works for one of the labels up in New York. But he's been around the game for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, word the mother. I'm bugging like yo. <laughs> word. You know, I got a question, and, and I'm gonna get out the way. You know, because you know, I don't want to take over the show, but. I just need to know, what is your biggest frustration as an artist today? Because you're coming from an era where you was, like you said, for the first new generation in hip-hop, to the transition to where you're at now, being in the studio and doing work and getting your grind again, as an artist, what is your biggest frustration? Um, my biggest frustration is definitely just like when I feel like I got quality material how am I going to get it out there? Because it's like, I know a lot of the DJs, but back back when I was out, the DJs just, they was playing your music on a strength. Like, they'd give you a shot regardless. And if people took to it, you was good. If they didn't, I gave you a shot, homie. Right. But now it's like, I don't know if it's, you know, payola or if it's just people messing with who they feeling or what. But it's like, if you, like the, the major radio stations, you hear maybe 10, 11, 12 artists and you got... You know, probably 20, 30 artists that's basically mainstream that maybe you should hear. But you hear the same artists and the same music over and over again. And there's nothing wrong with that music, but I feel like it's enough time in the day for some other music as well. Right. So I think that's my biggest frustration. And I'm just thinking like, damn, all right, I'm not down with uh, with Young Money or, or MMG that's or, you know what I'm saying? Like, so how my, my thing is, how am I going to get my music out there? You know what I mean? Right. And I mean, are you, are you, is anybody like reaching out to you as far as like any type of clicks? That's I mean, I'm, now? I'm cool. When I first came home, Fat Joe flew me to Miami for his own. Hey. That's what I do. But, yeah, Joe, good <laughs> people. <laughs> Joe, good people. Tell him, tell him you that's was with Cuba. That's cracks. Cracks. Yeah. Cracks. yeah. Cracks. What up to Cracks and Yap, Mach, everybody. Macho. Word. Rich player, yeah. Everybody. But, um, so he had me with Wayne and Frenchie and everybody. You know, he basically introduced me to everybody because a lot of the dudes weren't even, you know, around right, when I was right. out. So most of the old school cats I know. But Joe, you know, basically introduced me to everyone. And he just was like, yo, I'm here to help you. Let me know what you need. You know, I'm going to do that's, what I can. He's like, you know, I can't promise you the world, but right. what I could do, whatever I could do for you, I'm going to do. And, and thus far, he's been true to his word. So I want to say, say thank you, first of all. And, you know, much love to the whole TS, to, TS family. Um, I mean, everyone's like willing to help from from Busta to French. Everybody like, yo, just hit me, Meek Mills. Everybody that I've bumped right. into, they've all showed love, yo, respect, you know, welcome home, yeah, yeah, whatever I could do, let me know, you know. Everybody, two chains, everybody I speak to, they all show love and That's like, yo, I I I I get on whatever, you know. Nobody's talking about like, yo, I need fifty racks or whatever. They like, yo, I got <laughs> you, just send it to me. The the the, the it's just catching up because a lot of dudes is really busy and you know they've. If you're doing something for free for me on a strength, like I respect it and understand it, but I can't expect you to miss 50 grand to oh, come yeah. do something for free for me. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm going to try to get around to everybody, and I just got to kind of be on their time a little. I guess that could be a little frustrating, too. But, you know, I got I to, gotta, I gotta, you know, make my way and, and just take it slow one step at a time, you know? Yo, you're listening to WLVS, your girl next door. We with Chi Ali here in D.C. catching up. Yeah. Man, definitely appreciate you coming through, yo. I appreciate you guys um, having me, man. Definitely want to get into some of your um, music because um, right. here at GND Radio, we definitely highlight a lot of the independent artists. Right. And being that, like, it's been about 12 years. Yeah. You want to see what type of competition you got going on I mean, in, in the you DC know, area? I, I'm here. You can play stuff. I'm listening. I'm always listening. And I want to play your stuff though. Right, you, you, you can bro- play you my stuff too. And, and I want to say what's up to uh, Kingpin Slim. Okay, that's yeah. my yeah. boy. You know Shout what I'm saying? We, we actually and, and LG, LG the producer. Um, they they've been helping me out a lot since I've been here. My boy Tony from Co-op City. A, lo- a lot of dudes that that I do know in the area. They've been reaching out and helping out just to get me, you know, situated and help the transition flow a little smooth. But right. before El Boogie acts, I'm gonna ask first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> when you blow up, I know you're gonna need an MC to bring you on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> put me in the budget. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm with it. The hard part is blowing late. up, though. You, you too the late. The hard now. part. Once, once we get, get there, we here. I'm, I'm more like there. I'm on some DC <laughs> shit hard right now. But I just gotta, we just gotta get to where we need to be, you know. Definitely. Um, I want to get to your music. I want to ask you a couple more questions, but I want to li- definitely. Get people, cause everybody's like, "Yo, what is he doing? What is he doing?" Mm. So, 
let's see where you at right now. You okay. know what I'm saying? Um, DJ Mem is on the ones and twos right now, and we got three of your tracks. Right. Which one you want to play? Um, play the uh, play the girls all around me. That's a joint I did with my song. I don't know if y'all familiar with my song, but he's he's from New York. He's um underground, but you know got a few mixtapes out. He he's up and coming, trying to do his thing. He was on the Violator soundtrack a few years Ooh. ago, I think early 2000 on yeah. the on a joint with that. the Rough Riders. My song Lefty Gun up in the right form. Yeah. So. That's a joint we just did. It's, it's, it's not your average native tongue record. It's more on some, you know, club club, club right. tip. You know, right. we, we Yo, shout out to DJ Lazy Eye on Twitter. Okay. He didn't know you was back in the mix, so <laughs> he better get hip. You got to watch the girl next door. You got to get hip. Yeah, 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 yeah. I dropped that. Uh-huh. Welcome home, G. I'm taking you to the strip club. I'm going to have these hoes all around you tonight. Give us a rack of them singles. That's your girl next door, Lex Boogie. We back right now. Chi Ali, that was just you, yo. Yeah, me and my boy, my son. Just shout to, the, to my son for jumping on the record with me. Yeah. I'm used to your voice sounding like me, like yeah, mine. Bro, that right? was a lot of years ago. I got to grow up at some point, right? <laughs> so, I mean, are you more on, like, the conscious or, like, you know, native tongue? Or is it, like, I mean, I'm, I do what I do? I'm not. I'm... I'm conscious, but more on some real revolution. Conscious rev- of the booty? I'm conscious <laughs> of the booty, but more I'm more like on some revolutionary. To right. Just only because, you know, the time in jail, you see and learn a lot in prison, and 
you see a lot of the injustices that that our people are still suffering right. from because when you look around the prisons, it's basically all brown and and, and and black faces. So it's us for the for the for the large majority, especially in New York State. I can't speak for everywhere, but up in, in, in New York, York. Okay. yeah. So in New York State, it's basically black and Latinos that that's running them jails, and, right? And we're most prominent in it. And I don't think it's by accident. Although, don't get it twisted. You know, at the end of the day, we all responsible for our decisions, but why are all of us making these bad decisions is the question we have to ask so you know i i i, I got some political uh some political demons inside me but yeah, um, cause i want to i want to touch on that real quick let's, because let's go. Let's you speaking you speaking as a wiser man yeah but 12 years ago I, was it the same it was it was the same like how I mean, after like when i i was young 14 15 when i was into the music right. um when it started fading, when when Chris Lighty left, Viol took violated a Def Jam from Relativity Records. Relativity basically had the option to keep me, and they opted to keep me. So it was kind of like a, a war between my management and them over Chris's percentage and the percentage I would now have. They wanted it, we wanted it. Right. And as you know, the lawyers got in, involved, and as that was going on, I kind of like left it alone and kind of delved into the street life because a lot of the dudes I was hanging around with. They would, most of them was hustling, whether from D.C. to Virginia to New York. And, and you know, Around up and what down year the East was Coast. this, though? This is mid-90s, 94, 95, okay. 96, 97. So I, I, I took to the streets. You know, I was really um, in awe by the streets, I guess, the fast money and just the whole lifestyle. Right. And that had, had me, you know, I caught a few gun cases. I just delved into the, to the uh, wrong life. And um, I ended up paying the price for it. Right. So let me ask you a serious question. What was your first reaction when you saw yourself on America's Most Wanted? Uh, my first did you, reaction did you believe was like, it? I just was like, that's crazy. Like, I felt like, don't get me wrong, I took a life. And is that's, I believe, in my opinion, that's the worst thing a man could do. Right. Because um, no one has that authority to take a life. No matter what someone does to you, once you take a life, you can't give it back. And, and I want to send my condolences to the victim's family, to the whole Raymond family. But um, Bless it. When I when I seen it, I just felt like it was. Um, I didn't feel like that was necessary. I felt like I was in the streets. I felt like the dude was in the streets. And you know, most of the time, the cases in America's most wanted. It's not like two dudes who selling right. drugs. So I felt like it wasn't like I had. It was a big drug war Cause going. Because that's on. what I thought when I first seen. I remember seeing it. I was like, yo, he must have killed like an army or something. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. I guess just because they couldn't find me, I think the victim's fam right. family was kind of putting pressure on the precinct and whatnot. So they chose to go that route. Probably a lot because of the music thing, yeah, too. Yeah, right. Had a you know, name. Yeah, so that's probably why they really did it. I just felt that was a little, a, a bit much. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you live and you learn. It, it was an experience. Okay, so it's a lot of cats out here, honestly, that's trying to live that life, as we say right now. Right. Like, what do you, can you, because I'm, I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> See, like, these little dudes out here are talking about killing people, mothers, and... What, you talking about the rappers? Or the, the rappers. rappers. Oh, oh, right. I don't know if you're talking about the rappers or the ones The on rappers, the, on the like, I'm really talking like about specifically it. here. We here right now. Like, we, you in D.C., so you be a Washingtonian at this point. Right. Throw New York out of the building because eventually. Oh, on, not too far out. Well, well I, you know, I love New York, <laughs> but we, like, honestly, D.C. Now, I'm feeling D.C., though. Yeah. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm just mad I live in Maryland because I'm always in D.C. How you feel about these artists that, since you ca came from where you came from, and spitting all this fa what I call fantasy rap? I mean, at. at hey. <laughs> You got down. to see here. Cali, quiet down back there. Um, I mean, I think part, I'm like 50-50 with it. Half of me is like it's entertainment, and right. that's what people want to hear. Like, that's what was selling. So it's like with Rick Ross. He's, I'm not saying, I don't care if he was a CEO or drug dealer. Whatever he is, he right. is. I don't know the brother, so whatever he is, it is. But no one's selling that much coke. And so, still rapping at the same right, time. Right. So, so, it's, so, so <laughs> yeah. you got to understand that it is entertainment, and from that aspect, I mean, he's popping, so that's what people want to hear. So, from that aspect of it, I, I get it. However, I don't think 
everybody needs to go that route. I think you, at some point, you have a responsibility to the listeners also because at the end of the day, whether you feel you're a role model or not, once you're on that TV screen, people are going to look up to you, whether you like it or not. That's just the way it is. People are in awe with the TV, especially young people. So I think we kind of have a responsibility to, at some point, you know, let them know that it's music if, if that's all it is to you. you got, now, you got some artists that really probably feel they live what they rapping about but some artists you know that's not what it is so you need to just be a little more conscious and and and, and once in a while maybe put out a single as that that's positive you know i'm not saying you know right that's not really what's winning right now so but what? once in a while you can do it like a, a two chains a wayne certain artists can do it they can get away with it and right. it's gonna pop two chains can get away with it yeah they're gonna pop regardless DMX, right. dmx used to do that right, right but now right. he talk about christ and he is no play well I mean, God. I and it's nothing they, wrong with that. I'm just saying no, that's no, what the, I the mean, result. It's all. It's saying. all what you want to do. I mean, everybody has to stay in their lane. If you right. want to be mainstream, and like for me, that's like a, a crossroad where I'm at right now. Like, yeah. do you want to be mainstream and pop and try to make money? Like, of course I want to make money. Of course I want to be pop and like I want to be somebody that my daughters, you know, my daughters love Two Chains and Rick Ross. So I want to be in that in that in that genre. You know what I mean? But at right. the same time. I love some of the more conscious artists out there too. You know what I mean? And right. I, I don't want them to feel like, damn, son, like, where are you? You right there with it? Top top five favorite artists. Uh, definitely Jadakiss, Jay Z, um, Jadakiss, Jay Z, um, Nas. Uh, Eminem, I think is top five. I wouldn't say he's one of my favorites, okay. but he, he's definitely yeah, like top five. Okay. You know, like, I don't gotta like you to say you dope. Like he's dope. Um, Fab is up there. Yeah. Um, that's five, but I don't know. Like, it's probably a few people I'm forgetting, but that's because I was. I thought she was gonna say like all of the native tongues or whatever. <laughs> nah, I mean, I'm like, I'll be on some real. Like, I'm on some. Like, I like lyrics and all that. Like, right. I think Jada Kiss is the best. Like, yeah. I think Jay Z is like the greatest, but I think Jada Kiss is no one I'd rather he listen to. He just seems to evolve Kiss. still. And like, he just everything he he doesn't fall off. Like, he's just dope. Son is dope. So um, what's up with your freestyling skills, fam? Well, you know, I I I do me a little bit. A little, All right, a little well, bit, you know man. what? Cause I I've been we we on you know WLBS right now. We got the classic Chi Ali coming in. And I'm about to get you some. I want to hear some freestyle. Forget all of the the other stuff going on, cause we we only got a couple of minutes anyway. So I want to wrap it up with a bang, man. All right, we're gonna which, wrap what type it up of beat? What's what's instrumental? What you want? I'm saying I go acapella. It don't matter. Like I I'll go acapella with. You go it, acapella you know, with. You know what I mean? Like it's whatever. He's like <laughs> the new the new producer dude. Uh, you say you from um Hawaii? You look like you surfing right now for real though. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, Chi. What's good. good? You got you got something? Cause I you know. I do a cappella. I go a cappella. Let's go a cappella. Yo, yeah, like yeah. money and freedom. That's a real nice combo. Just dropped 250 on this duplex condo. Another 10 racks on a run around wristwatch and bumping Lupe. Cause I love hip hop, parolees and pit bulls, pistols and pasta. Y'all know who shot ya. And it ain't Big Papa. I ain't Poppy, but I'm cool with Poppy. And Poppy got me. Moving more horse than jockeys. And I don't mean a horse on a racetrack. I mean a horse that give you arm tracks from needle contact. And this is for Remy Dang. Ma. Smile for me. Middle finger all you COs who styled on me. Your yearly salary? Well, I'm getting that for this here. A millish year. And it ain't even mid-year. I'm coming through just to shake things up. And my words is my life. These rappers make things up. But you could bluff them, you could beat them. Yeah, that's the way that poker goes. I step in in the room niggas is quiet like the Poconos mm. and I ain't even brought the Goonies with me my shorty ass looking juicy like them Toomies with me now tell me who be with me cause if not you getting whipped yo bitch she getting stripped you flip you getting clipped yeah I'm nice with a Ruger I likes me a Cougar don't front when I'm with her cause she might be a shooter and even if she not she gonna ride like a porn star you can hide I'ma find you like on star what's going on pa did you miss me? I was locked behind a wall with this black nigga pissy And he was like 6'6 six, six, and I ain't talking crip shit Need to do a song with Jaden Smith cause I'm a misfit I'm suffering from post prison syndrome And pushing six figure whips in a month is all I've been home But give me a year though with all these music weirdos But most of them be staring acting scary like they scarecrows But I ain't here to rob you or shoot you and put it on YouTube You fucking birds is cuckoos <laughs> I just wanna eat a little but I need a little push And I got O's of that cush and everybody 
puffing on that OG Kush. I seen Ooh. a bunch of old shorties that owe me puss, and I'm about to cash in. These other niggas cashing out. They come through, see the gistel, and they passing out, and I ain't doing CPR. Front on me, you be DOA. You part-time. I'm a G all day. I love my life, the pros and the cons. This here, big pimping. Know the holes in the johns. And even if you got it, it's still tricking. You a bitch meal ticket. Because you rich, you want to feel different. You a square, living in a round world. And acting <laughs> feminine like you was raised around girls. Cut the shenanigans. I'm tired of you hannigans. And if I'm in the club, my little man brought the cannon in. And I don't mean the camera. Nah, this ain't a photo op. You ain't going to need Photoshop. Because when you shot a sober pop. Yeah, yeah. So that's pop. what's good, <laughs> man. Yeah, you still yeah. like real witty with it, though. Oh, I try, I try. Punchlines, man. Try. That's what we need more of in this area. Well, you know, because it's not. It's I'm not. here. I just, you know, I'm just. I just don't want. You know, a lot of people just like I, like you said, a lot of people from the native tongue thing. They just, I guess, want me to be more on that tip. But I guess just doing 12 years in jail, like when you're in jail in prison and yeah. the yards rhyming, it's not. That's not really what they want to hear. So. I've kind of adapted to the to the I guess the 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 more in sound or the in the in lyrics, but you know okay. I like it. I just try to try to keep it keep it good, keep it keep good music, good music universal. The future of Chi Ali, like what are we expecting? Um, from I you? guess the book first and foremost, my autobiography. I haven't titled it yet, but I guess around probably around the top of the year or springtime, hopefully we'll have that all wrapped up and and. and coming at you all right um definitely some Keep music plugged definitely, into that, yeah, definitely, definitely some music and and hopefully some acting i may I, I got my associate's degree while i was locked up so that's what's good man yeah I, I need to get my bachelor's i'm about 40 credits shy for my bachelor's so i need to do that just because i'm there and i want to do some like motivational speaking um just because like i said especially in new york i don't know about out here like with the gangs i know out here is crazy too right. but new york that gang the bloods and the crips that that the gang shit is crazy like it's off the meters so, so are you giving back through that too? yeah i, I want to do some motivational speaking whether That's it's at juvenile centers or prisons or high schools or middle schools i don't know exactly how i'm gonna attack it yet i actually got to meet with this my man oscar walker up in new york probably this week um, so he's supposed to help me a little bit with that, but um, that's something I, I definitely want to do to give back, and that's something that I feel I can do to give back that I'm doing. Like right. pr prison was mandated on me, so I had no control over that, but this is something I got control over, so I would like to do that too. Well, you are definitely uh, an inspiration from like the, even the hip hop and just growing and maturing as a man, and I know definitely you can give back. And if anything, because I'm I definitely tap into a, a lot of the community service. Um, charity work so if I find out anything absolutely, I definitely absolutely. You know, like I said, point you in that direction I'm with it there with the parties if it's for some paper like we could get we it. gonna party yeah, see yeah, cause it's gonna that, be warm and, right and now let everybody know you can follow me on Twitter yes. and, and um, Instagram at Chi Ali BX C H I A L I B X and I think um, I got you on uh, the I, Instagram already the Instagram and Twitter I know it's Chi Ali BX the Facebook I'm not sure that's what it is on Facebook what <laughs> Yeah, and Facebook too. Uh, Chi Ali BX. Everything is Chi Ali BX. C H I L I B X. All right, man. And we definitely got to wrap it up. But again, thank you for coming through. Thanks for having We're going to follow up because I want to see what's good with you. Like, you know, how, how you live in D.C., how, yeah, how everybody like treating you. Just holler. I'm here. All right. And if y'all, you know, definitely want to hit him up, hit his. You got the contact. We, we were supposed to put the contacts up, but that's not going to work right now. But All right, well, just hit us up. We're going to um, hashtag you. Mention you in the in the Twitter so we can get you absolutely that absolutely. Twitter fam up. And Mem, I need you to throw the throw the single yeah. on, especially in sta it, in stadium. I I be in <laughs> stadium. I gotta come through on a Thursday when, when you rock it. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that's booty talk. Yeah, I I, I, I went uh, there a few weeks ago and brought my wife. She had a ball too. Hey, Word. Big shouts to Big Sug over at Stadium too. Uh, any shout outs, Mem? Why you here? You've been quiet today. for coming through. The yeah, music was great, me, man. Brother. Good having you, and uh, keep in touch. For, for real, we'll do. IQ, man. any shout outs? I mean, shout out to shout out to you for coming through. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah, out yeah, to Antonio yeah. for coming through. Yeah, Antonio, uh, are you still back there, man? No, nah, he, left? He, he left the building. Uh, I shout out to uh, my boys out Germany, D Ho, tuning in. Definitely, Germany has been. A, you know, we global, right? <laughs> yeah. Shout yeah. out to Kayla, my daughter yeah. Kayla and Callie. Are they those in the those building. Beautiful with me. young lady that yeah, just walked in. And, and, and my wife and the kids. She she was supposed to be on point, but she's like playing Instagram right now. Her name is Nakia. Yeah, 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 my name is Nakia too. Okay, all right. <laughs> Real name, but uh, yeah, you put my government out there. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't we gonna rock and with y'all. The bill collectors begin. <laughs> right, to call. they already call anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> but now we're going to get back to you. Um, I thank everybody for coming through, doing your thing, G&D team. We're going to get back at it next week. Make sure you tune in, listenvision.com, your girl next door. And we are out. And See y'all sure next week. make sure you vote if you have oh, yeah, two vote, hours man. left before polls close and the DMV. Actually, vote, in vote, VA, vote. they close at 7. Yeah, you're they in there before seven. seven. You'll still be and able to vote, but you can only bring one kid. So you got multiples. <laughs> and Florida, stop playing with me, dumping them um, ballots and stuff. We we didn't even get to get into that. You know what I'm saying? Stop the madness. We out.